quite a game. So this is just my quick reaction to the first Group B game between Nigeria and Hungary. Nigeria defeated Hungary by four goals to two in a very interesting game, a six-goal thriller match. Um, of course, Nigeria uh, favorite to always win that match. Uh, like I said in my match preview link here, that uh, Nigeria would easily win this match by predicted about three goals to one. Good game by the boys. First half, the boys went down by two goals to one. Um, Hungary scored first. I think Komamari scored the first goal for Hungary. Um, a little mistake by the defense. And Nigeria equalized penalty by Tijani. Um, and Hungary came back to take the lead, two goals to one, um, by Major. Scored a wonderful goal just at the edge of the box and uh, also by a mistake by the defense, I think. And Nigeria came back in the second half stronger and I understood Hungary's coach tactic. It was to like get about nine men or ten men behind the ball every time Nigeria was attacking, so he could frustrate our attack. But you know the Golden Eagles actually did well; they were relentless. They pushed further. They tried their best until they got that equalizer. Wonderful header by Ibrahim. The keeper actually made a mistake for Hungary. It was it came out of his line to clear the ball to punch the ball out, but he missed, and Ibrahim got the equalizer for Nigeria. Few seconds later, less than sixty seconds later, um. Adeni got a wonderful header. Um, the defender also missed the ball. A lot of mistake in this game. Um, Adeni took the ball home and we led by three goals to two. Then about ten minutes later, or well, five or six minutes later, I, I mean, Tijani got a wonderful free kick, little deflection, and um, the game ended four goals, four, four goals to two. So Tijani got Tijani got two goals today. Wonderful game by the boys overall today. Um, Tijani, my man of the match, obviously getting two goals, able to control the midfield, and um, yeah. So he gets the man of the match, in my opinion. Lots of talent in that team. Ubani did well, but he was not given enough chance because of the fact that we had nine men behind the ball for Hungary every time we were attacking. So they actually marked him out. Um, Amao came in in the second half, showed some quality. Um, overall, the team is actually good. Air team was solid as well. Uh, Oluwa Shegun also played well. Um, I'm trying to study and understand most of these players and uh, I understand what the coach is trying to do get the possession, push the ball forward, but there were little mistakes in the game. And I think it will obviously be corrected by the coach. The coach will have observed those mistakes and will try to correct them. Um, overall today, good game by Nigeria. Um, the first and second automatic, automatically go through to the round of 16. Why? There will be our four best losers from all the groups. So, yeah. So three people should qualify from Nigeria group easily. Hungary, no doubt, are a good side. I, I see them also qualifying out of this group, maybe as second or as one of the four best losers. But I see Hungary actually qualifying and making it out of this group. So yeah, um, there should be some. Personal, my, this is my personal opinion now to the coach, or about from what I've observed watching the game. I think there has to be more link up and synergy between the team. Um, we had some couple of times where the chances were just wasted. We had lots of wide range shots from outside the box, you know. So I think the coach would work, would work on that. Some short passes here and there. But overall, and I think we first up performance of the team, coming back from a two two one to win the game by four goals to two, all in the second half. Very fantastic, very wonderful by the team. Nigeria are still favorite to win this tournament, in my opinion. Uh, but there's going to be some really tough competition this year, really tough competition. I think the boys have to go far. They have to like learn how to play well and learn how to play better. Good three points from the boys today. Nice game. I'll be doing, I'll be covering all Nigerian games at the Under 17 World Cup 2019. And then some other teams, I'll try to cover their games, do the match preview and the post match analysis. So if you're new here, please try to subscribe and give the video a like. Thanks for watching. It's all very late right now, about past 11. Ademola Victor signing out saying bye. Don't forget to watch these videos here and these videos here. Thanks for watching. Bye.